Hi again everybody, I'm just posting this video quickly. It's an extension of Lockdown Pack Lesson 8. So if you watch that video from today, you will see that towards the end of the video, my voice wasn't going with my mouth. So my mouth was moving, but my voice was somewhere else. So I thought I'd just pop by quickly just to go through that work with you so that you can see how it's actually done and not be annoyed with how my voice sounds. So let's have a look at this video, this picture. So over here it says, let's begin sentence writing. Look at the picture. What's happening in this picture? In this picture, we have a cat sitting on a mat. So let's make a sentence about that. Let's think for ourselves without looking at the rest of our worksheets. Let's think of a sentence that we can write. The cat sits on the mat. Okay, or the cat is sitting on the mat, or the brown cat is sitting on the mat. Let's look at the words that they gave us. So over here it says, read each of these words. And now each word is in its own block. So we can see each word on their own. Let's read the words, the, sits, the, mat, cat, on. Let's go again. The, sits, the, mat, cat, on. Now, that doesn't make sense. That's not a sentence. It's just jumbled up words. So what you are going to do is you are going to write your own sentence. You are going to write a sentence about the picture using these words. So I started off, remember, a sentence starts off with a capital letter. So over here, this word has a capital letter. So I copied it over here. Okay, I did do it yesterday. That's why it's already written. And then after, after this word, I'm going to put a finger space before my next word. And I'm going to bold a sentence. So I want the sentence to be, the cat sits on the mat. And all those words are over here. Remember, after each word, you're going to have a finger space. And at the end of your sentence, you are going to have a full stop. Have a look at the words in the blocks. Can you see a word that has a full stop at the end? Mat. Good. So that's going to be your last word and you're going to remember to put your finger space. And then at the bottom, so you're going to write your sentence nicely. And then at the bottom it says, tick as you go along. So did you start with a capital letter? Yes, I did. So I made a tick. Then between each word, do you have spaces? Then you tick. And then do you have a full stop? And if you have a full stop, you tick it. And if you don't, you add it in. Okay. Let's look at Friday's work. So when I recorded yesterday, when I recorded the, this lesson previously, I did say that I'm going to go through Friday's work just because it makes things a bit easier and it is only one worksheet. So let's have a look at this. The worksheet says Friday Fun 2. Then it says, circle and color the pictures that start with mmm. So if you are in the school that I teach in, you guys know that in grade one, we work with our elephant phonics books. And then there it says, okay, over here, you need to color in all the pictures that start with rrr, or color in all the pictures that start with g. Then we make a circle and we color it in. So you're doing the exact same thing here. Even if you're at a different school, I'm sure you guys do something that's almost the same. Maybe you guys also work with elephant books or maybe you work with a different book. That's perfectly fine. So you are going to look at these pictures and you're going to find the ones that start with hmm. And while you're looking, you're going to just draw a circle around all the ones that start with hmm. And when you're done drawing your circle, then you are going to color in all the pictures that start with hmm. So, I'm not going to go through all the pictures and ask you if it starts with hmm, but let's look at one picture. Over here, we have balloons. Balloons. Does balloons start with hmm? No. So, do I draw a circle around it? 
No. Do I color it in? No. I'm going to look at the rest of the pictures, decide if it starts with hmm or if it doesn't, and if it does, draw a circle. So let's, let me tell you what these pictures are. We have balloons, a car, a moon, a net, a man, a mouse, and a mask. So all the ones that start with hmm are going to have a circle and they are going to be colored in. Then over here, it says color seven squares. So let's count. How many squares do we have over here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten squares. Show me ten fingers. Good. And what I'm going to do and what you are going to do is we are going to color seven squares. So are ten squares going to be colored in? No. Are nine squares going to be colored in? No. Are eight squares going to be colored in? Are seven squares going to be colored in? Yes. Good. Give yourselves a kiss on the brain. Over here, we have fill in the missing numbers. So there's blocks and you are going to fill in the number that's missing. So one something, three something, five, six something, something, nine something. You're just going to write the number that is missing. Over here it says complete the pattern. So a pattern, what is a pattern? A pattern is something that repeats itself. It repeats itself. It repeats itself. So if I have a pattern that goes, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That is a pattern because one, two, three is repeating itself. If I have yellow, green, blue, yellow, green, blue, yellow, green, blue, that is my pattern. It's repeating itself. We can also have shape patterns that can be triangle, circle, square, triangle, circle, square, triangle, circle, square. So those are patterns. It repeats itself over and over again. So over here, we have circle, square, triangle. Circle, square, triangle. And you're going to carry on with the pattern all the way until the end. Then the last part just says, rewrite the sentence. So the sentence says, I can read. And then it's got a line with a dot at the bottom. That line with a dot at the bottom is called an exclamation mark. An exclamation mark. Can you say that? Good try. So an exclamation mark means that you are shouting or that you are excited. So I'm not just saying, I can't read. I'm saying, I can read. And you're excited because I can read. You also have something that's called a question mark. The question mark is there when you ask a question. How are you today? Question mark. What is your name? Question mark. So you don't need to remember all of this. It's fine if you don't. I'm just trying to explain that at the end we do have an exclamation mark and that's what it's there for. So sometimes we end with a full stop. Most of the time when we're writing grade one, we end with a full stop. Sometimes we have a question mark. And sometimes we have an exclamation mark. So over here you are going to write your sentence. Remember we start off with a capital letter. In between each word we have, e we have finger spaces. And at the end we have a question mark or a full stop or an exclamation mark. In this one we have an exclamation mark. So I want you to copy that for me. Okay. Now before I go, today... Thursday, the 23rd of April, is World Book Day. So I'm only going to be uploading my video of story time for Friday, tomorrow's lesson. But I want you guys to find a book that you love and you are going to read it. So if you have a book, say for example, it's this book that I'm reading with you guys tomorrow. Even if you can't read the words, you can look at the pictures and tell me about the story or tell your mom about the story. So over here I can say, okay, there was an, a colorful elephant and there was a superhero elephant and I can make a story up about that. 
So you can have your parents read the story for you and then you tell it to them again or you can just tell, make up a story in your imagination. And if you are in my class, your parents can record you guys telling the story or reading the story and they can send it to me. Okay, I want to see exciting stories. I'm looking so forward to listening to you guys read. So find your favorite book, read your favorite book and enjoy it. I'll be reading the story with you guys tomorrow. Okay, I will see you guys soon. Bye.